I have to admit, when it just came up on the screen, I almost teared up, and I was like, no, you have makeup on. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, because no one's going to bring you any tissue. Listen, I'm so excited for you. America's Next Drag Superstar! <laughs> Congratulations to Sasha Colby. Now, tell me, you're in your winning era. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. And early I was at the Sasha Colby meet and greet. Period. <laughs> And if you weren't watching the show and don't catch that, you need to get your life together. <laughs> How does it feel? Oh, my goodness. It's two weeks since I won. <gasps> and it's, like, still, like, integrating in me. Like, I, I, I haven't realized that I actually won the big one. Like, I caught the biggest fish that you could. <laughs> and, um... It hasn't clicked yet. Yeah, no, like, it'll be random. I'll be, like, on a plane. I'll be, like, oh, I did it. Like, I won all <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked me uh, yesterday, they was like, so how does it feel to be hosting The Daily Show? And it didn't click for me until about 4 p.m. yesterday. Because I've been, like, moving, and I was like... The time delay. The time delay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, I'm hosting The Daily Show. <laughs> so I know exactly how you feel, because yeah. when I got here, I was like, they're asking me all these questions. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm hosting The Daily <laughs> Oh, I'm supposed to know the answer. I'm supposed yeah. to know the answer to these questions. So it's like, listen... Now, I know the running joke we told y'all was the Sasha Colby meet and greet. Mm -hmm. Now, what's it like competing as a queen who was already legendary before she got on the show? Because you are a legend. And you have to appreciate you know. her as a legend. Goddess, <laughs> goddess sees goddess. <laughs> greatness sees greatness. Blessings Absolutely. sees blessings. You know. Absolutely. So tell the children what it was like to be legendary and then be out here with the children. Well, I mean, I am mother. True. So I deal with a lot of kids. Right. A lot of kids come in and out of the way. But I must say, the group of girls, the group of drag performers that we were with, that I got to be so blessed to compete with, were such amazing girls. Like, cons like literally the best cast I could ever have dreamt to be with. OK. I but legend. Uh They all knew, you know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's why they all stood up for the meet and greet. I mean, like, listen, because I remember when you walked in the room. I don't know if you've ever seen shock and awe before, <laughs> but I, I'm talking about face cracked, jaws dropped. I literally saw somebody go. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you can hear Anisha go, should we all go home now? Should we all go home now? Because <laughs> you walked in the room and it's like, oh, do we, should we even try? I'm, I'm glad the delusion was hitting hard, and they did try. I mean... <laughs> I, want, I want him good next to me, you know? I want to beat the best. I mean, I could respect that, because Anitra was not playing when it came... No, ma'am. ...to the lipstick, just free willing. No, ma'am. If you did not see the... <laughs> free willing moment, because Anitra was not playing with anybody. That's why the whole season I was just like, please, please. Please put Sasha and Anitra together. Television is not ready. They have to compete together. Yes. I mean, after that Lala Perusa that we I did, mean, I mean, that was like a, a final two number right there. It had final to happen. Yeah. It had to happen because the drag delusion was real. I mean, it's real. We all suffered from it a little. <laughs> Some more so than others. Mother, this, this on the... <laughs> You have to, like, now y'all know for real, like, I've watched the show. <laughs> I was a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race, like, last season, mm -hmm. like, two seasons, and I was like, it has been my dream forever to be a judge on that show. So, I'm waiting, listen, they're gonna put you on All Stars, they're going to. And when all Stars, all winners. All Stars, all winners! <laughs> okay. Now, because you are legendary, because you are mother, we need to know about the journey. Mm. So I do want to know that you're the first Hawaiian queen to take the crown. Yes, actually, I think I'm the first Hawaiian queen to compete. Oh, that's actually true. Actually made this show, yeah. So There's the first been Hawaiian... other Polynesian girls, but I'm the first representing Hawaii. Praise God. Um, <laughs> so how has your Hawaiian heritage shaped you as a trans woman? Oh, well, I think being any indigenous culture, mm -hmm. there is the third sex. There right. is this level of non-binary that was always known and spoken about. Right. Uh, before, you know... Colonization. Christianity, all that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> love you, Christians. <laughs> love you, too. <laughs> love yourselves. Anyway. Um, that's the real tea. That's the real tea. 
<laughs> How you gonna love anybody else? Can you get an amen? I mean, read the word. That's uh -huh. not the point. Y'all gonna be so Anywho, mad at me. That's tangents, not the point. That's tangents. Truly, tangents, tangentials. <laughs> What was the question? Um, how is... Because <laughs> we both got distracted. Um, because you were so pretty and this jacket is shiny and I like shiny things. Um, I was asking you, how, how has your Hawaiian heritage yes. shaped you as a trans woman? Well, like I was saying before, I interrupted myself. Uh, <laughs> in any indigenous culture, there was space for trans and non-binary mm -hmm. folk and they were integral parts of our society in every uh, indigenous culture you can find. So my transness is in my blood, it's in my right. DNA. It's, it's what has been going on since before any man-made religion, any, any of these like, standards that we hold ourselves to, any male woman, all of that. That's just um, a way to oppress, you know, a way to yeah. keep in line, a way to segregate everybody. And mm -hmm. uh, that's why I feel it's so important to be uh, really into your culture, you know, like to figure out your culture, because we are always programmed to believe what our parents need us to believe right. instead of what is actually going through our veins and our DNA and our blood. Right. And then what the society at large wants you to believe, because if we go by mainstream society, then uh, none mm. of us would be able to dance. No, ma'am. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have been able to show my tits on national television. And... <laughs> And we all needed that. I mean. We all needed and that. And real tea, like, I was like, everyone saw, like, a great competition of Sasha Colby, but all my friends were like, they didn't even see Sasha Colby yet. Naked, drunk, at brunch, you know? <laughs> Rolling around half naked. I, 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 I think you showed us so much. <laughs> uh, I think only doctors would need to see any more of you. <laughs> Not a cough. I mean, <laughs> listen, if I close my eyes, and they were like, okay, Sasha Colby is missing. I'm like, all right, don't you worry. <laughs> it might have to identify by our titties, but I got you. Don't you worry. I said, or, or, you know, uh, identify by booty. Hey, listen, cuz <laughs> that thing is thangin'. Mermaid. And as someone Mermaid. who thang also be thangin', listen. <laughs> thangin', recognize. Thangin'. thangin'. Yes! <laughs> Women of color, especially, mm -hmm. we always have to worry about representation, mm -hmm. right? And I know you want to be an example of a happy trans person in the media. Why is that important to you? Well, all that media has been concerned with a lot of the time is um, telling the transition story, right. telling the trauma, telling the effect that it did on the family, but not showing why, why we go through all that mm -hmm. and how, how happy, like, being, being so adamant about making yourself feel comfortable in your own skin. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the whole reason why we do the transition. It isn't to like hurt or harm or traumatize our families or anyone else. It is to be our true happy selves. And we are missing that a lot. That makes sense. And I, w I don't want it to get like misconstrued that I, I want to be a representation of only I'm a happy trans person. Right. There are so many happy, well-adjusted, loving trans people, but you only see us getting murdered and and yes. So to be able to normalize the fact that you probably have come into contact with three or four trans people every day and not even know it. Right. Because we are everywhere and we're not going anywhere. Well, I can definitely understand that because being, you know, a woman of color and a plus size woman of color in this industry, you spend a lot of time, it's like, oh, well, you're plus size, you must be unhappy. And it's like, no, I'm oh. not. Also, I'm no, very pretty. the skinny pretty. girls are unhappy because what? they're hungry. The skinny girls are hungry, but... They're very hungry. <laughs> girl, I was at a diner at 3 a.m. and I saw this drunk white girl eating a salad and I'm like, that's not what you want. That's not, that's not what anyone wants. You at want 3 a.m.? fries. You were drunk at 3 a.m.? Why are you eating lettuce? Eat the fries, girl. <laughs> you were in a tracksuit. You're in yoga pants. It's working. Eat the fries. <laughs> drunk in a salad, you finna be sick. <laughs> now... I have to ask this question. Mm. Because we know we have to ask this question. Now, you won Drag Race mm. at a time where drag is being politicized for absolutely no reason. <sighs> what do you think they're really trying to do? Well, I mean, the, the legislation... I, I don't want to be, like, political and say, like, this, I mean, you no, know, the conservatives, the, government, the, the conservatives, government, because, you know, you know they're out here yeah. acting a donkey. Right. Yeah. Um, 
it's always about these white men kind of trying to control people's bodies. Right. So they're they're we're doing you know uh, controlling women's reproductive rights. Right. Controlling our medicine, like a basic human right of giving trans people and like even like anyone good health care. Right. So it's always about controlling, and I always notice that these guys they're not really killing a lot of like trans men. There's a lot of trans women being murdered. Mm. That's because these men objectify trans women as much as they objectify cis women. Yes. So once they objectify you and you're living your truth, mm -hmm. they get so mad. Yes. Because they're one, jealous that they're not living their truth. Yes. And two, because it makes them question why do I like this? Why, like, but why do you have to question that? Why does that even have to be a thing, you know? So. For all of them, just I think they just want to be in drag, or they probably went in drag yes. and then they looked awful. Santos, well, <laughs> listen, you hop in drag, you find out you're a booger, and you bitter, bitter, bitter booger, honey. bitter booger, honey, and you're like, you know Ban what? All. <laughs> this free dress wig might not so be for me. She couldn't find a mother. She couldn't, she couldn't find, find a mother. They said no, lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> now. Call CPS. Listen, call CPS. <laughs> oh my goodness, nothing like calling CPS on a 45-year-old man. <laughs> it's like not on his children, sir. On you. You need adult supervision. Uh huh. This is true. This is true. So with all these anti-drag bills as they're starting to pass places, has that affecting where you can work? Uh, yes. Um, I'm a little nervous to go to Tennessee, and I do have a booking there in like a month or so. Um, you could be committing crime. I mean, technically. Walking, like, setting foot down there, I'm breaking the law for some reason, you know? It's insane. Even when you're in There's... girl drag? Well, like, so if you are, I've, I've, I'm not too sure exactly, but I've heard from my queen friends, like Aura, she lives mm -hmm. in Tennessee, like, you can get in drag at the venue. But to be out, like, walking from your car to the venue, if you're in drag, you're breaking the law. So someone like me who doesn't, it, this is what it's made for. I can't get out of drag. I'm trans woman. Because so you're a I'm woman. I'm going to be breaking the law, and that's what they want. Oh, because they're trying to it's say... It's a roundabout you're... way to get trans people uh, controlled. So they're trying to say you're in drag when you're yeah. really just well, because wearing the, a the woman's... The legislation, I believe, like, the, the, the wording is if you're in an article of clothing that is not your assigned birth article of clothing, that's how they can roundabout say that drag is illegal, and then the real thing is being trans is illegal. Oh, that I didn't... Y'all didn't know that? Girl. They live in New York. They think they free. I know. We live in a, <laughs> we live in a good left bubble. <laughs> it's a, listen, I've had a lot of people try to con me and tell me that New York wasn't racist. Go outside. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like y'all know where all the Dominicans are. Okay, that's not racist anyway. <laughs> if you know where every part of a group is, it's racist. I shouldn't be able to roll. Oh, I go across that street. That's where they at. But you know what? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Sasha Colby right oh, now. Nice. <laughs> This is a this is a segment of tangents. I mean, listen, I am tangential. I'm a tangerine. Ooh. So I'm tangential. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they messed around and taught me vocabulary. Oh. Now, all right. Now we have talked about all of the the political things. Yes. We have talked about the experiences. Yes. But what I do have is one final question for you, mother. <laughs> if I was in the family. Hmm. What would my drag name be? Oh, I mean, Dulce's already a sickening drag name. I hear you! <laughs> and Dulce Colby sounds really nice. Dulce, I'm a Colby! Dulce Colby, oh, I just gave birth again. <laughs> so, somebody clean up this water that's broke, honey. Listen, all the water, all the water that's broke. Listen, somebody get this placenta wrapped up. I'm ready! <laughs> uh, Colby, baby. Oh. 